Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have this pinky spring inspired makeup look. And if you're wondering where I wore this nice spring inspired makeup look, I wore it to the park with my friends. And I actually personally love it. I think it looks great. And if you guys would like to learn how to get this type of look, keep on watching. So I'm going to start with my Nivea Post um, Shave Balm and I'm going to be first just applying this all over my face and then after I apply it all over my face I'm going to be like tapping it into my skin to sort of like activate the primer and once you like tap it in it gets really sticky which is why I love it. And then I'm going to be trying a new foundation today. This is the NYX Total Coverage Control Drugs. I don't know. I'll put it in. I'll link it in the description box below. But um, I actually love the foundation, but I don't like the brush. Like, I actually hate the brush. The brush kind of makes it look a little streaky. And um, I tried to apply it with the brush, and I kind of started to not like it. You'll see. Eventually, I'll just blend this out with another brush. But I do like the foundation. I love the coverage that it provides. And it's great because you can get medium, full, and sheer coverage with this. That was very out of order. But I love this foundation. It's very good for a person who like, you know, on certain days you want this type of look and on another day you want this type of look. So I'm just going to be taking my tried and true concealer, you know, the Urban Decay concealer, my favorite concealer of all time. Like just look at how it blends out. Just effortlessly, effortlessly. Yeah, that's a word. I'm just gonna be taking my beauty blender to blend all these lines out, unless you want the lines. I mean, that's fine. I don't want the lines, so that's why I'm gonna blend them, blending it out. And then I'm gonna be setting all of this with my Kat Von D setting powder. I didn't get the baking powder, I actually got the setting powder, but I think I like the setting powder more than the baking powder. Well, at least that's what I'm, I'm, I'm going for. That's what I'm feeling right now, you know. This is um, sort of like switching it up from my Laura Mercier powder. Plus, it's cheaper than Laura Mercier. So, you know, I kind of had to pick this one up. So we're going to start on our eyes. I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. And before, I know you see me pointing out a shade. I will be using that to put all over my eyelids, warm tote. But I did not um, prime my eyelids. So first I'm priming my eyelids with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Just applying this all over my lid. And then I'm going to be using warm tote, which is that exact same color I just pointed at. And just applying that all over my lid so we get a nice even base for our lids. That's usually what I like to go for. And then next, um, yeah, we're just going to be applying warm taupe all over our lids because we like to make our eyes warm taupe. And then I'm going to be taking Red Orchard, or Orchard, yeah, I think it's Orchard, and I'm just going to be popping this right into my crease. I kind of wanted to give it sort of like a pinky vibe, but more on the red side, but it ended up coming out more pink anyways. And then I'm going to be taking Cypress Umber on that same, oh no, this is a different brush. I'm going to be taking this on a different brush and just defining my crease. And then taking, I believe it's Primera, um, all over my lid. Is it Primera? Yep, point at Alexis. Yep, it's Primera. That gorgeous gold right there. It's so pretty. I'm just going to be taking that all over my lid. And then after that, we're going to be dusting away this bakage. This look is very easy and it's super easy to achieve. Anyone can do it. So next, I'm going to be setting my entire face using my MAC Trip the Light Powder. This is from the Star Trek collection. I don't remember what shade it is. I'll link it down below. But I absolutely love this powder just for like an overall glow. It gives my skin like such a refreshed look. And then next, I'm going to be contouring my cheekbones with the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in the shade Espresso and just slimming down my cheeks using this brush that I got in my Ipsy bag. I've been loving it. I'll probably um, announce it in like a recent phase. And as you know, Colson's Pearl eyeshadow brush, I'm actually not using the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow. I'm using the Makeup Geek Contour Pan because I feel like it gives a softer look on my nose.
and then I'm just gonna be blending that out and then I'm gonna be taking oop that brush that blush right there and I'm just gonna be taking this on my real techniques blush brush and just popping it on my cheeks and then after that I kind of went ham and I was like okay now I gotta go ham on both sides and blend 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 that's basically what I sat here doing like blending on my cheeks hardcore blending like I kind of had to and then afterwards I'm going to be taking Becca's Champagne Pop and Pearl from the Jaclyn Hill and Becca palette and I'm going to be blending those two together and creating my perfect highlight because oh my god just look at those two mixed together on my skin looking fabulous. And then lastly, I'm going to be taking this Revlon lip balm. I literally wore this all the time in middle school. Like, I recently picked it back up out of my collection because I didn't want anything like a lipstick. I kind of wanted just something like soft and like a balmy texture that would keep my lips hydrated throughout the day. And this most definitely did it. Like, I literally fell back in love with this and I wore it like every day after that for about another two weeks. And then I'm just going to be applying the Better Than Sex mascara all over my eyelids, you know, to get that sort of flirty eyelash look. And you're basically done. I hope you guys like this video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already. Please follow me on all of my social media platforms. I love you guys and I will most definitely be seeing you guys soon. Bye!